I'm Kenzie Meekbeck and for Dave Morse and you're watching The Play. We begin tonight's episode by taking a look at the weekend forecasts and the chance for severe weather. Forecasters say Friday should be warm, clear and sunny with highs in the 80s, but there is a chance for storms over the weekend. Highs will be in the mid 80s on Saturday and meteorologists expect the storms to approach western Oklahoma in the late afternoon and early evening hours. The system will move northeast and east across portions of central Oklahoma Saturday night. Forecasters expect large hail and damaging winds up to 70 miles an hour and there is a potential for tornadoes. The severe weather threat will shift eastward during the day Sunday, mainly east of I-35. New Oklahoma City Public Schools Superintendent Rob New made his first official visit to Oklahoma City on Thursday. New spoke to school district administrators and visited students at U.S. Grant High. It sounds so simple that it sounds silly, but it's the hardest thing. And that is to, you've got to let them know you love them. They've got to feel connected to school. They've got to know that this is a place where I'm safe, where I'm loved, I'm respected, I'm cared for, and they know me. We've got to know what they like, what their hopes are, what their dreams are. And then we have to attach the curriculum and the experiences that we provide for them through the content in the curriculum to those hopes and dreams and help them see the relevance of their, of their education. Education reporter Tim Willard will have more on New's initial visit to U.S. Grant and the city in Friday's edition of The Oklahoman. The Oklahoma City Thunder will step back onto the hardwood Thursday night for their game three in their series against the Memphis Grizzlies. The OKC team will be in Tennessee for tonight's matchup. Tip-off is set for seven. Our sports staff is in Memphis and will have more on the matchup and a preview of the game four on Saturday night. Sister Rosemary Nirumba, a Ugandan nun who was named one of Time Magazine's most influential people, has strong Oklahoma connections. Sister Rosemary is an activist helping victims of Joseph Kony's Lord's Resistant Army pick up the pieces of their lives and move toward successful futures. I knew that these young people, young women, who had really got a lot of trauma and have, been, have faced a lot of problems, a lot of pain, had no dignity, they had no strength, they were so, so vulnerable. And I didn't want people to take advantage of their vulnerability. In a way, I had to overcome my own fear and really stand up for these people because I knew I would be able to stand up and I knew that my own pain would not be as much as the children went through. And that's why I was determined to stand up and say, I'm going to protect these children. She is connected to Oklahoma through her friendship with local attorney Reggie Witten, founder of Pros for Africa. Witten's or organization has inspired many Oklahomans to go to Africa to work with Sister Rosemary's organization, Sisters United. Carla Hinton sat down with Rosemary and Reggie Witten to learn more about their strong bond and friendship. You can read her article in Friday's Oklahoman. And that's all for this episode of The Play. You can find more on these stories in upcoming editions of The Oklahoman and on online at newsok.com. Have a great evening.